Hey guys, it is Kayla Waller with Waller Adventures and I got Susie with me and I got Audrey with me and we were at SeaWorld in Orlando, Florida for their Hello Screams event. So stick around and check it out. All right, Audrey, are you, are you excited? Sure. You excited? Of course. This is gonna be a little, a little different in HHN. More freaking haunted houses for you to try and give me a heart attack in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the second year that SeaWorld has actually done a scaring event, kind of like it's kind of like HHN, but HHN has been doing it for what, 31 years? This is 31st, yeah. Yeah. So this is our second year doing this, and I've heard. It's a lot better than HHN. I hope it is. What do you think? It's a terrible statement. <laughs> a terrible I, statement. Nothing should ever beat the creators of the horror genre. True that. We're about to find out. So what's cool about uh, SeaWorld is I can actually film in the houses. So we get to see Audrey's great reaction. She's way back there. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of bleeping in this video. <laughs> Go ahead and warn you on that. But yeah, so you get to see what we deal with every time we go to HHN with Audrey. It's gonna be great.
to the Siren of the Seas, Audrey. What do you think about that? Well, I'm drinking Siren's Kiss, so hopefully that will keep me safe. <laughs> All right. Here we go, Audrey. To the Siren House. <laughs>
twin sisters, Frost and Flame, will fight and burn you with no shame.
so it says the deadly ambush. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's getting ready to get scared. Wait, can't <laughs> There's wolves everywhere, be careful. <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize they were in the bushes. That was a good one. It got me. I, I about threw my back out on that one. <laughs> that was good. That guy needs a raise. <laughs> Careful, Audrey. They're everywhere. Oh, good pressure. Third house of the night, Captain's Revenge, Drowned in Darkness. What do you think about this one? As long as there's no chainsaws in there. <laughs> I think we're good on that. All right, here we go to the pirate one. That was very entertaining, and I still hate you. <laughs> oh 
my god. So we did the pirate house. And we were going to do the house that's beside it, but they're closing. So we're going to kind of go through the scare zones. screens at uh, SeaWorld. Here's where the show is the Monster Stomp show. What do you think? It was good. I think it should run a little longer um, and work on getting people inside houses because it was very slow. Other than that, I liked it. <laughs> All right. What do you think, Audrey? In five hours, 500 houses. You should be able to get through those. We got through three houses in five hours and saw a really good show. Scare Actors, Scare Zone was great. You couldn't tell who was a scare actor and who was a guest, which was perfect. And then upon finding out when we tried to get into another line for a haunted house that they were closing because there are no times listed anywhere on anything not a great idea uh we had to walk back around the park to the entrance exit none of the stores were still open i wanted to buy something now i'm not gonna all right so my review is if you want to go and actually experience like a theme park haunted thing a haunted uh attraction go to universal you'll get more for your money there um because they stay up until 2 a.m and they push people through the houses here we went through um the glacier one and it took us over an hour and it only took me four minutes to film the whole thing which is ridiculous um at universal they push people through the uh the houses here they group you and ask like how many people in your group and they just send groups at a time which which slows the uh the lines down a lot and that's not a good thing but like i said i mean we we went through a house that was four minutes long and we waited over an hour for it and it was not really worth it i, d I agree with audrey the scare actors are really good um scare actors are a lot better than halloween horror nights scare actors there's some houses we went into, there's a whole bunch of holes where there should have been some scare actors. They were spaced out a lot and not, like at Halloween Horror Nights, they're right, right there, they're back to back to back, but here they're spaced out to where you get a scare and then wait, scare, then wait. Like HHN is a scare, 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 scare. And uh, I like that a little better. But um, also on the map, they were telling you about the houses but they had the little house logo and it was like this big and you couldn't read it also there was no show times for anything so you kind of had to pick and like guess when shows were things like that the show that we did see we thought it was every 30 minutes but it was kind of like give or take every 30 minutes it wasn't like on the dot every 30 minutes which uh i mean that kind of sucks but the but, show was fantastic. Yeah, but the show was fantastic. Like it, I think that was the, that was the that was the best thing of the night was that show. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and like I just said, when we were leaving, it was just like, oh, we're done. Nothing else. We're done. So as we're walking through the park, there was like no scare actors saying any like like giving like a, a scare like a, the last scare type thing. There was nothing like that going on. And um, I wanted to stop at the gift shop and show y'all the gift shop, but that didn't happen because <laughs> they had that closed but you would think they would open that so that way uh so that way you know the people that are leaving you know could get that last you know souvenir things like that 
All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you are, we greatly appreciate it. If you're not, please hit that subscribe button. It will help our channel grow. And we are on Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And in the description below, there will be a link to our shop where you can get cool Wild Adventures merch. I got some on right now. You can see I even had the uh, tie-dye t-shirt on that you saw earlier. So thanks for watching. See you soon.